all right we got the metal roofing here for the porch and uh it's just galvanized it's galb aluminum they call it i don't really understand but it's like galvanized steel and i took all kinds of precautions this morning to square up the first sheet and i actually had the, <coughs> the roof is not completely uh, a rectangle so i actually had to trim up that edge and i <coughs> snapped the line and i marked i see this mark here so i'm supposed to line that mark up with that line and the bottoms are all supposed to be perfect and they're not and i i can't figure out why you can see right here they're not lining up uh and it's just, i don't know i don't know why they're not lining up you know squared up everything but that's what happens when you work by yourself sometimes i don't know it's just i don't have any control over it so uh i've got these sheets they're just uh they're screwed off as you can see i'm screwing them off on one side and then stretching them out and screwing them on the other side so there's no buckles or anything and then i'm going to come back and screw the whole roof off after so i did at the top the middle and at the bottom object is to just get all this up here before the wind picks up and then i can just screw the roof off at my leisure so i'll set you up hopefully the camera doesn't crap out on me in the sun here <laughs> all right hold on All right, I'll go get the next sheet. Well, good morning. I hoping that today will be the last day on the house on the porch screen in porch but I, i've got now that i look at it there's so much work to do it's going to take at least today and tomorrow to finish it up uh what i got started this morning is i i set the ladder up and i screwed off this lead, this drip edge up here and right now i am making up a one by eight that will fit up in there and one on the other side and I'm also starting to work on uh, the one by 10 soffit board that goes up in there, which I completely forgot I had to do. So I've got to make all that up and I've got to stain them and set them aside to dry and I'll be able to put them up later today. So these are the covering boards, just one by eight and I'm gonna trim them all up and then uh, those are the soffit boards. I'm gonna get those things all set and then I'm gonna break out the paint or the stain and get some on me. <laughs> and then, uh, let's see, after that, 
Uh, I've got to put on the horizontal battens up onto the foam and then there's the um, metal I don't even know what you call it it's part of the upper flashing unit which has to go on so there's a lot of nitpicky stuff that has to happen today I probably won't get to do the siding till tomorrow and then uh, yeah I'm hopefully by the end of this week today's Thursday Maybe by the end of, in, during this weekend, I have all the stuff done. All right, here are all the pieces that I uh, prepped. And I'm looking for, uh, the color we're looking for is charcoal. And of course, I only had like a cup left in the gallon. We had this other color, which is close. So I threw that in here thinking, oh, that'll darken it. And it didn't. And I actually threw, I actually went down to the shop and got some charcoal, some out of the uh, wood stove. <laughs> and uh, I put it in there. It didn't seem to make much of a difference either, but I'm gonna paint it, I'm gonna stain it. And, uh, Maybe I'll put it up and I'll stain it again once it's up there. I really just want to get this stuff up. I don't have time to go to the store. Well, it's been a, a day of doing awful things. Things that I absolutely hate doing. And they're three times as hard when you have to try to do them yourself. Oh, this is a big run up here. Right, hopefully people don't see that. You didn't see that. I got the soffit in on this side. Hopefully you can see up there, up and down the other side. Uh, I got this painted, and that board on. But the soffit was a big pain in the neck because it's a 19, I don't know, was it 17 or 18 foot long board. And I really wanted to try to do this one in one run. The other side is done in two pieces. But, it's really a two-person job and there aren't two people here so there was I didn't film stuff because it was awful I think I'm done with the awful stuff though because tomorrow I've got to put on uh, two by one by strips across which is easy and then I've got to put the flashing which goes the metal flashing and then I could start the siding, which is the very last thing. The siding and doing all the trim work. The staging's always in the wrong spot. It's always too high or too low. And you, I don't have staging to wrap the whole thing. I didn't want to take the time to attempt it. Even if I had it, it would have taken me a day to set it up. And I just don't think it was worth it. I still have strips to do um, over all of the screening and the, the siding up the top and the handrail. And I think that that is it. I keep finding all these other projects on this thing to do and I just can't, uh, I'm just not very enthusiastic about it. <laughs> anyway, the, uh, there you have it. Um, that's it for today. I got to go clean horse stalls and clean up my mess here but we do have a screen porch and stick around it's nearly done
and so forth and so on. So doesn't want to fit right quite right over there, I don't know. But the rest of it looks alright and I'll get the rest of these put in. And then we can start on the last step, which is putting the siding on. Boy, uh, I'm gonna uh, get the bevel for the soffit. Boy. Hopefully it matches the other side. Look at that. All right, so with the bevel, I'm just gonna uh, get a length and I'm gonna start cutting them a piece at a time, staining the ends and nailing them in place. I got all of the siding up and that completes this whole end uh, I think it really looks nice and clean that side got away from me a little bit I get interrupted and then I actually cut those last five pieces three times and that's so but I'm not gonna point that out you didn't see that but the rest of it looks really good and uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna go get uh, down on the ground and we'll give you a shot from what it looks like from uh, from there all right there you have it there's our screened in porch all right this is the end of the video this is the end of this video and uh, last night I put the top and bottom railing notched it into these posts and this morning I did the same thing as the other stairs as I used one by their three and a half inch boards spaced three and a half inches apart and it's 36 inches in the middle and I think it mates all the codes and that actually finishes up the outside all the outside work in preparation for getting the occupancy permit so there it is garage is a uh, garage yeah i wish it was the garage the porch screen porch is done except for those little strips and i'm going to get to those at some point but that's not a big deal there you have it thanks for watching um the next thing coming up is I'm going to start actually getting ready to dig uh, for the foundation for the garage which means to move all the stuff over there but that is a huge project and uh, that's the next project so stick around